We're about to begin our Great Ocean Walk and this is the start in Apollo Bay. Beaches through there and we're about to begin. So we're just leaving Apollo Bay on the path out of town. Hey babe. Ready for backpacks. Hiking, oopsie, sorry about the bumping. Hiking with masks is horrible in the heat. But as soon as we get out of town we'll be able to get rid of them. that my GoPro is not working we've only just started I fully charged it this morning I don't know what's going on with it and I'm so annoyed anyway try and figure it out tonight in camp see how we go all uphill and I am exhausted backpacks very heavy just across the beach section it's pretty exhausting up we go OMG could have got all the way up there So it's extremely hard walking along a beach with a big backpack that weighs like 15 kgs. Exhausting. I am very unfit after being in quarantine and lockdown for COVID and not having done much hiking. It's really, really messed me up. Today is a very hot day. So between the heat, my unfitness, carrying a backpack on the beach, I think I'm going to sleep like a bloody log tonight I'm climbing this final hill to Elliot Ridge and he's gone on ahead to see if he can find the campsite. I am plotting, I have, my leg has seized up, my thigh muscle has seized up, cramping and in agony I think. Um, yeah, I've drunk all my water but I've sweated so much today and everything so I think I've just got severe cramps. I'm literally hobbling in like you can tell by the video. <laughs> like one agonizing step at a time to get to the top of this hill. This hill has been a kilometer straight uphill. Yeah, I've never felt this way on the first day of a hike ever. We are here at last. Thankfully my cramps are gone. Uh, so this is the site we're gonna sleep on. We have a undercover place to cook and eat if the weather turns feral, which is quite cool. So. 
that's neat and then back through the down the path are some long drop toilets which will be good to have our water is here and, and tanks here. Yep. so yeah we're good to go So we have just over 5k's to go, 5.1 and we're doing well. We just saw two beautiful deer, red deer on the path but I couldn't get any footage because they were very shy. Right, so we've arrived. This is the massive river we might have to wade through. <laughs> Not even. <laughs> So right here near our campsite, there's this gorgeous little waterfall thingy. So there's a karawang eating some fruit. Good morning, it's day three, there's Blanket Bay, we are just about to leave and head out for the day. We're heading to Cape Otway campsite today and it's a very rainy wet day as you can see. We've got to actually clean our shoes off and disinfect them because there's some kind of fungi or something. You ought to push your foot down in there. Yep. Oh. Yep. There we go. Cool bananas. So we've come from that hill over there, crossed the river at the bottom and, excuse me, huffing, but we've just climbed up the top of this hill, so so pretty. And then here we have a notice board saying Eric the Red 1880, the ships Eric the Red and Lockhart 1878 were both bound for Melbourne with goods for the international exhibition when their journeys ended tragically along the shipwreck coast. So we've arrived at Crayfish Bay, we're heading past. Good morning, it's day four 
and we are walking from Cape Otway to Air River this morning as you can see the Sun is shining coming up just behind me it's a beautiful 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 day and yeah we are just uh, looking forward to having a bit of sunshine So there's the Air River, the Balas, back to the sea. There she is. Our bridge is right down in the distance. And I think our campsite's just the other side of that bridge. Good morning, it's day five and as you can see the beautiful sun we had yesterday has vanished. It's, it's drizzly and we're very wet um, but the sea's like a grey uh, murky colour today. It's very misty but it's still very very pretty so yeah it's not pouring and the wind's not howling. We left a bit earlier this morning because we got to cross the river. Um, we got to cross the river at low tide, so we kind of amping to get going because with the sea looking like this, it's a, you know, we don't know what we're going to find, but we'll see. So we're nearly at Castle Cove, but the escarpment here is absolutely phenomenal. So today already this morning I've had a major wipeout. My foot got caught in a root and I literally was standing upright one minute and the next minute I was flat on my face and thankfully I didn't twist or hurt anything. It was a bit of a wake-up call to focus on where I'm going because one minute I was up and the next I was down. <laughs> Too old for the shit. <laughs> So we've arrived at Castle Cove at the lookout. So there's a koala in the tree here. There he is above this tree with the white flowers in the eucalyptus at the back.
So we're heading down to the beach. We've got a two kilometre walk along the beach. We're pretty, so we're gonna walk along that beach. Fair bit of climbing today. Constantly, but yeah, it's been good. Absolutely stunning. So we've come to the Johanna River, we've got to cross this, so we're just walking along the edge to see if we can find somewhere less deep to cross. They do suggest you come at low tide, which we've done. So just arriving at the Joanna Beach campsite, just a warning, there's a big hill to climb before you get here. <laughs> so we have a shelter as usual, toilets are behind me, but how's that view for camping tonight? Good morning, it is day six and we're heading from Joanna Beach to Ryan's Den. It's very cold, rained like 99% of last night. Sorry about the wind. And uh, it's supposed to rain again today but we're heading out before it hits us too hard. The views are spectacular. Just left Joanna, climbing hills. A fair bit of climbing today pretty muddy and wet. Look at the colour of that sky. Oh, he's wearing a mask. <laughs> How good is that? Coming down to Melanesia Beach. Absolutely beautiful. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So here's some of the rocks that they tell you to look out for in Melanesia Beach, the formations that are made by the waves and the wind. 
they form like little boulders or cannonballs that can break off. It's a complete upward turn from the beach, which is down there. You can hear how I'm heaving. We still got to go up there. Oh, MG is all I can say. It's only one way to describe how I feel today. It starts with a letter F. Hemi's come across a huge big, oh shit he is big, he is massive. It's a tiger. Is that a tiger? Yeah. Where's his head? Halfway down his back. Oh okay. We gotta go up these stairs. I can't believe it. <laughs> We've walked like 14 or 13 kilometers and now we gotta go up the staircase. I just can't believe it. Alright, here we go. So we're at Ryan's Den. This is the top of the lookout point. My gosh, have we climbed stairs today? really pretty. The sea is very very calm today. Good morning, it's day seven. Um, I'm doing my good morning here before we leave. We're about to pack up and go but you can see the weather is really horrible. The wind is howling. Apparently some more steep climbs today, unfortunately, but um, yeah, you make the best of it and when you get out in nature and you hike, you just do what you have to do. So there's the Ryan's Den campsite. We chose to sleep at the top of the one campsite because they go down off the hill because of all the rain. We were worried about getting flooded and good thing we did because when we looked this morning, the sites were flooded out. So. We were glad we camped in a non-campsite. Um, you're not supposed to, but the thought of getting totally flooded out and wet all our gear in the night was just not an option. So, yeah, remember down on the trail. This is Joey sticking his head out of his mummy's pouch. Good morning, it's day eight, our final day of our walk. The sun is out again, the weather's cleared up, and it's a beautiful way to end the day. So we're heading for the 12 apostles. That's the end point of our walk today. And uh, yeah, it's been an epic walk. Really loved it. The weather has been quite up and down. It's a good day today, looking forward to our last stretch. See you later.
So we've come around the corner and that's the first look at the 12 apostles way in the distance. It's a bit hazy today so you can't see it very well but yeah, the end is in sight. <laughs> Hello darling. <laughs> We're heading that way. <laughs> Break time. Oh, there's the Jelly Brand River and Princetown. Not too far to Princetown. So we're nearly at Gibson Steps. First of the Twelve Apostles, well, heading to it. So that's where we've come from. And we're almost there, probably about 800 meters from the Twelve Apostles, near the end. And very 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 excited <laughs> that we're almost there uh, it's been an amazing eight days and despite the ups and downs of the weather we've had an epic time seen amazing Aussie wildlife kangaroos koalas even a snake which I could have done without but that's all good lots of wallabies bird life has been phenomenal um, really really has been an incredible eight days walk we've loved every moment of it so we're almost there here we are at the 12 apostles I guess we have to mask up again the nicest thing about this walk has not been having to think about coronavirus for the last eight days we've been able to walk about freely, no masks, no lockdowns, no rules, no people. But you can see this place is usually jam-packed with tourists. You can hardly move and you can hardly always get to the viewing platforms and it's just it's dead as a doornail. So in one sense we're actually really lucky that we've done our walk now because it means that we actually can get to the viewing platform and literally have it to ourselves. <laughs> so it's back to masks on. But this is the first time, as I said, we've ever been here when we there's been no one. Um, yeah, it's going to be a very different experience and probably one we'll never ever experience again. So, quite special in a way. <laughs> 